arrows from circumference to the center. No miracle can ever bring about transformation in human consciousness. It is only your moment to moment awareness and acceptance of all that is happening will bring about transformation. Man lives on the surface or circumference, just as the fringe, the circumference. The senses are just on the boundary and your consciousness is deep down at the center. Man lives in senses and out of senses. Indeed, that is natural. But that is not the ultimate flowering. It is just the beginning. And when you are living in senses, we are basically concerned with objects. Remember, senses are relevant unless... Remember, senses are irrelevant unless there is concern with some object of enjoyment. For example, eyes are useless unless there is something to be seen. Ears are useless unless there is something to be heard. And hands are useless unless there is something to be touched. We live in senses. Therefore, we have to live in objects its objects. The senses are just on the boundary of the being in the body and objects are not even on the boundary. They are beyond the boundary in the world of objects and beings. So three points have to be understood before we enter into the psychology of the inner and the technique. First, the circumference is outside and consciousness is at the center. The first is consciousness is at the center. Second, senses through which the consciousness moves out are at the boundary. And third, the objects to which the consciousness has to reach are in the world of conflicts and duality beyond the circumference. For the process of transformation to begin, you have to move from circumference to the center. Only then, this is the beginning, circumference to center the place where consciousness is and then the consciousness when it becomes without the center then it is awareness it takes time but the process has to begin what type of person you are intellectual type or emotional type this is a significant question Many things have to be understood. One, whenever you feel that you are neither the intellectual type nor the emotional type, know well that you belong to the intellectual type because confusion is part of intellect. The emotional type of the person is never confused. One who belongs to the emotional type will not feel such confusion. Emotion is always total and whole. Intellect is always fragmented. This is the difference between emotions and intellect. Those who are guided by their emotions and feelings, they are more stable. Women comes in the category of emotional type. They are very clear in their approach. Emotion is always total and whole. 
intellect is always fragmented, divided con and confused. That is the very nature of intellect. Why? Because intellect depends on doubt and emotion depends on faith. Wherever doubt is, division is bound to be and doubt can never be total. How can it be? The very nature of doubt is doubting. It can never be total. You cannot doubt a thing totally. And if you doubt a thing totally, then it becomes faith. We live halfway. Doubt is always confusion and basically when you doubt, you also doubt your doubt. You cannot be certain about it. A doubting mind cannot be even certain about doubt. So layers of confusion will be there and each layer is based on another layer of doubt and confusion. So there are layers upon layers of doubt and confusion. The intellectual type always feels this way. And this is what happens. Sometimes we are caught up into that situation. But women by nature, they are very certain about their feelings, their emotions. The feeling is all the feeling will always be there that I am nowhere, I do not belong anywhere, or sometimes I am here and sometimes there, sometimes this and sometimes that. But emotional type is always at ease with himself because trust is the base. Emotion is not divided, it is whole and individual. Your emotions are reflection of your individuality. If you have any doubt, if you cannot feel certain to what type you belong, know well you belong to the intellectual type. Then practice technique which are meant for the intellectual type. If you do not feel any confusion, then only do you belong to the emotional type, the feeling type. Let us look at Ram Krishna. He is male, but a feeling type. You cannot create any kind of doubt in him in any way. That is impossible. Because the doubt can be created only when basically the doubt exists already. No one can create doubt in you if you are not already have doubt hidden in you. Others can only help you to come out. They cannot create it. Faith cannot be created while others can help to manifest, to come out. Your basic type cannot be changed. So it is very essential to know your basic type because if you are do doing something which does not suit you or fit with you, you are wasting time and energy. And you will get more and more confused because of your wrong efforts and identification. Neither can doubt be created in you nor faith. You already have the seed of either of either of this or that. If you have doubt, then it is better not to think of faith at all because that will be a deception and hypocrisy. If you have doubt, do not be afraid. Even doubt can lead to the divine. You 
have to use. I will repeat, even doubt can lead you to the divine, because if the doubt can destroy the divine, then it is stronger, more powerful than the divine. Even doubt can be used and it can be made a technique. So do not deceive. There are persons who go on teaching that if you have doubt, you can never reach the divine. So what to do? Then you have to suppress it and hide your doubt to create a false belief but that you, you have to suppress it and hide it to create the false belief but that will only be on the surface and it will never touch your innerness or soul. Deep down you will remain in doubt and just on the surface a face will be created of belief and that will not help in any way. And I'm now.